Well, joining me now is the Director General of the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, Dr. Chikwe Ihekwazu. Thank you for joining us on TVC Breakfast. Now, if, we re if you recall in 2014 and 2016, the Ebola epidemic devastated uh, West Africa, where about 11,000 people were said to have been affected. In fact, killed. And now there is the WHO is sounding an alarm. Should Nigeria be worried? Thank you very much for having me on your show. Um, I think we should always have a certain level of anxiety. It's always good uh, so that we, it leads to the adequate level of preparedness. But what we have been doing at the Nigeria Center for Disease Control has not been triggered by this uh, recent declaration by the World Health Organization. We have been preparing literally for the past five years. And how do you prepare? You build an institution and the capabilities around surveillance, your laboratories, your emergency uh, response, the port health services by your partners, and build an architecture of response. So by being able to respond to small outbreaks and even large ones that have been happening across the country for the past four to five years, we have built a very capable workforce work to lead our country's defense. However, uh, the primary message is still one around prevention. Um, you know, right now we have an outbreak in the DRC. Um, there are limited flights, even indirect flights to Nigeria, but still there are different trade paths that could lead people back to Nigeria. So we have to strengthen our ability to detect this virus at the ports of entry. But we also know that Ebola has an incubation period. Uh, so there are periods where you can detect it at the ports of entry. So we have to be ready to respond. So you, you are saying that uh, Nigerians should be confident about the fact that uh, if uh, it happens to coming to Nigeria, we are able to tackle this head on and swiftly as well. Absolutely. Nigerians must be confident that they have an institution that is very well prepared to support the response to a virus. However, Nigerians must also know that there is no magic bullet against viruses, that preparedness is our collective responsibility, that the things that we need to do individually, day to day, that many of us have dropped the ball on around hygiene, around precaution, around keeping, uh, uh, taking our kids or family members to a doctor when they think they have a fever. We have to do all of those things. So it's a collective responsibility. But yes, on the side of the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, Nigerians can be confident that they have an institution that has spent the last four to five years preparing for this type of event. And this is demonstrated by our response every day to the third, the public health threat. All right, let, let's quickly touch on uh, what the WHO said with regards to having insufficient funds to tackle this problem. What are the implications of this? Yeah, this really means that, you know, any public health threat in any part of the world cannot be left to that country and to WHO to respond to. As a global community, we have a, a collective responsibility. When I say collective, I mean the different countries in the world, different donor agencies, all the partners. We all must collectively right now support the DRC. It is much easier for all of us to contain and eliminate this outbreak in DRC than to let it spread to other countries. It will cost us a lot more as a global community if this outbreak spreads. So we are joining WHO to ask for all partners and indeed every country in the world to support the DRC and the WHO in, in leading this response in the DRC. All right, Dr. Chike Ihekwazu, Director General of Nigeria Center for Disease Control, thank you for your time on TVC Breakfast. Joining me now is the Director General of the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, Dr. Chikwe Iyekwazu. Thank you very much for joining us. Now let's come to Nigeria. Uh, what plans are in place to ensure that we don't have this crisis? Uh, remember at the time that um, uh, Soya came into the country, came through the airport. So what plans are the NCDC putting in place to ensure that we don't uh, have this issue again? So thank you very much. Um, the Nigeria Center for Disease Control has literally been preparing for the past four to five years since we had the last outbreak, building our institution, bringing capabil building capabilities around 
the laboratory detection, emergency, uh, public health response, surveillance, uh, contact tracing. So really, this outbreak of Ebola in DRC has just reminded us about our vulnerability. But in reality, we have been building with every small outbreak we respond to in any part of Nigeria. We train young people, we train members of our staff and the state teams to be able to prevent, detect and respond. So preparedness is not necessarily what you do in the two to three days when you think you might have an outbreak. It's what you do over the two to three years that you need to build the defense architecture against infectious diseases that we need so desperately in Nigeria. What about vaccines? Are we ready with va vaccines since you've been preparing for about two to three years or more? Yeah, so um, there is a lot of development work going into Ebola vaccines, but there's only one uh, licensed vaccine for the Ebola outbreak and it's not commercially available. So it's only available through specific mechanisms through the World Health Organization where there's already an outbreak to prevent further cases. So we have to rely on that global architecture to provide us the vaccine. However, you know, there is a lot more that we can do uh, apart from vaccines. We're building infection prevention and control practices across Nigeria. We've been training healthcare workers. Uh, we've built a digital surveillance platform in order to pass information. So I, I think vaccines is the, is the final um, a bullet we will have in our, uh, in our array of defense uh, materials. But the first thing really is to build education of Nigerians to understand infectious diseases, understand what they need to do, work with our port health services to improve the, their ability to detect it at point of entry. So it's a whole broad architecture around national health uh, security uh, that we have to build. And that it's a journey. It's a marathon. It's, it's not a sprint in building these capabilities for our country. All right, but how far have you gone to ensure that enlightenment campaigns are all around and, and in your quest to uh, get Nigerians aware of this situation? So you see, in our, in our last joint external evaluation, uh, which really examines how, we, how prepared we are across the spectrum of activities. This was three years ago. You know, we didn't do too well. So we came up, we got about 40% out of 100. So since then, we've been building. And one of those critical areas is about risk communication. So if you go to almost any health facility in Nigeria, you will see materials that we have developed, developed across many diseases. So we're telling Nigeria, listen, don't focus exclusively on Ebola. If focus on cholera, get your children immunized, uh, use clean water to wash your hands, do what you need to do all the time to prepare. And, and finally, our final point, really, you know, we have to resource the work we do around preparedness. So we're asking our uh, leaders to listen. Don't wait for the next Ebola outbreak. This also goes to the private sector. Don't wait for the next Ebola outbreak to look for where NCDC is. Let's look for the resources now to prepare us to resource preparedness. It's only as we put money, efforts, resources into prevention, detection and response before we have a crisis. And that is really how to prepare ourselves for when we do have uh, an infectious disease, whether it's Ebola, Lassa, whatever it is, then we're ready to respond. All right, so what parts of state governments playing in, in your role as, uh, as you ensure that uh, you're all prepared for the control of this disease? Yeah, you know, the state governments are really our primary clients. So uh, from Abuja, we cannot go and uh, detect uh, cases of cholera or meningitis in the rural areas across this vast country. So our primary role really is to support the state government. So we at the Nigeria Center for Disease Control have really focused on that. We have set up 16 uh, public health emergency operation centers across 16 states in Nigeria. Our target is to complete the set six plus one states by the end of this year. So really to strengthen the state's capabilities to prevent, detect, and respond at the state level and local government level. It's only when the states are fully resourced and able to do this that we can take a back seat and advise and uh, really do the work that we're supposed to do around the research and uh, advice to the states. But at the moment, we are doing way too much. And the reason for that is that states need to do a lot more. But in the short term, we are there for the states. We will continue to support them in any way possible to build their capabilities to do the work we so critically need to do.
Director General and Nigeria Center for Disease Control, Chikwe Yekwazu, thank you very much for talking to us.